it's a new month and that means it's time to make a new monthly tbr hi guys what is up welcome or welcome back if you're new here hi my name is ritwik thank you so much for clicking on this video and if you're not new here thank you so much for coming back i love you let's bring out this tbr card i've not made the tbr yet so so i am figuring it out along with you guys i read about 11 books in february so i think so we should make a tbr which is about 15 books so out of that i can read at least like 12. that's what we're gonna do we're gonna pick 15 books from this this those shelves and those shelves first up is obviously the book which i'm currently reading i started it today i'm about how many i'm about 50 pages in which is how to kill your family by bella mackey i've been meaning to read this book since 2022 and i finally have started this 50 pages in i'm loving it a lot so far i just hope that this book builds up from where it is right now and does not disappoint me in the second half so yeah then i think so i want to read the institute by stephen king i've been eyeing this book a lot for the last few days on my tbr card so yeah we're going to read this it's about a group of special supernatural kids who are in this institute where the government is doing tests on them and wants to like use them for their own good it's a story of them escaping this institute and one policeman who is on this case to track them down and how everything just changes for him so yeah i've heard great things about this book the plot concept sounds amazing i'm not really excited about the writing because the last three Stephen King books which I've read. The writing was not my favorite, but I love the plot of it. So yeah, I'm excited to see how this book fares for me. People have been hounding me to read As Good As Dead by Holly Jackson. So I am going to read it. You're gonna get like a proper detailed vlog for this book. I've not done like a solo book vlog in a while. So you guys, you guys are gonna get fed with this one. Then we, have i am gonna read just kids by patty smith a friend of mine kriti she read this book and she's been spamming on her instagram about how much she loves this book and that has made me want to pick it up so i am going to read this book very very soon four books down oh yeah in march like in the book world people like to celebrate korean march where you just read korean books in the month of march it's very similar to january in japan or february in france so out of my bookshelf i have these two unread korean books which i own so i think so i'm gonna read the vegetarian because it's short and why not five books now book <sighs> i think so i might be able to do a 24 hour readathon this month i'm counting like four books for that and I kind of want to do like a mystery marathon 24 hour readathon. So we're going to pick four mystery books. I'm not picking the mystery books because they are just so fucking tightly stacked inside one another. Bright Young Women by Jessica Knoll. I've heard great things about this book and everybody is just so in love with this book. Finally picking up The Maid by Nita Pros. I've been eyeing it for a while and it's like the perfect time to pick it up oh then i'm gonna finally read the american boyfriend by ivy nya i've been meaning to read this book for months and i'm gonna start off the mystery marathon 24 hour readathon with that book we need one more mystery book which should i read oh yeah i will obviously read the uh, march pick for the read christie 2024 challenge i don't know what the pick is for this month but I'll read that pick so that is going to be the fourth mystery book for the mystery marathon so we are nine books in can't, oh my god oh my god fuck. i can't pick it out right now out of this because it's so fucking tightly pulled in but it is going to be kai kai by vaishnavi patel i've been dying to read this book and i'm gonna pick it up so five books left what do i want to read what do i want to read oh yeah the story life of aj fikri by gabriel seven i've been I've been so excited to read this and I'm gonna make it a point to read it this month. Moving on, I am also going to do a reread of my favorite book of all time, which is An Eleanor Elephant is completely fine. I'm going to do like a whole annotation, like very in-depth annotation for it because I just I'm I'm in love with this story, I'm in love with this book, and I wanna relive this book, so I'm gonna read it. Oh how many? three more books right i'm going to read draupadi by koral das gupta i'm hosting a giveaway with pan macmillan on my instagram so i'm going to read this book 
in preparation for that if you guys want to enter just go and follow my instagram the mindless reads where i'll be posting about it very very soon if you are interested to enter so yeah two more books left to go i am going to read small things like these by claire keegan i've been just meaning to get to it and recently i've been like very like on fire when it comes to finishing books from the tbr cart so yeah and the last book which i want to read in month of march it's so difficult i don't know why i'm so stumped all of a sudden like i usually would have like 75 different books to put over there but i can't like narrow it down to any single book You know what? I can't seem to figure out what book I wanna put on my TBR, so I'm not gonna like force myself. You know, like I did a lot of mood reading in February, and that's the reason why I couldn't get to eleven books. And even the TBR which I've picked out, even like all of these books, they are still just like a rough guide for me to go by. Like, if I don't want to read any of these, I'm not going to, and I'm not gonna force myself to read any books. But I, I. you guys will see the wrap up right you guys right you guys will see it right yeah anyways thanks for watching this completely honestly unnecessary and very impromptu video which i filmed come back in the end of march to see how many books i read and yeah just give me your best luck and i will see you soon bye bye